Hi there everybody, I'm Melanie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the owner of Lost and Found and one of the things I do in this business is I'm a certified merchant for fusion mineral paint. I've been doing that for six years now. I love this paint. It's the paint that I use the most on my furniture projects and one of the questions that I get the most often from my customers, especially my online customers who aren't able to look at the colors locally is what is the best white? Tell me about the whites. And you guys, you can see there is a lot of whites. In fact, there's one missing that I'm out of right now. So many different whites to pick from. So I decided today to go ahead and break them all down for you. I've got them all painted on one board here. We're gonna look at them individually. I'm gonna show you some examples of some furniture painted in these colors as well as compared to one another up close here on this board. So hopefully by the time we're done, you'll have a much better idea of what white is right for your space and which one you wanna try next. All right, so let's get started. I do wanna say before we dive in though, that even though we're gonna walk through all of these colors the best that I can with you, that everybody's computer screens are gonna show this video a little bit differently. And whites, you guys, can just be really, really tricky. So if you're trying to get an absolute perfect match for your space, then I definitely recommend you grab some testers of the white and take them home and try them in your own light, paint them on a sample board like this. But hopefully this video can help narrow down your choices so that you're not getting a tester of all nine whites. Maybe you're just picking two or three. So um, I've done my best to be in natural light. I've just got light coming in through my window and I'm gonna keep kind of the board covered up with this piece, there we go. And then we'll just kind of walk down. So the first white we're gonna look at is this one right here and it's Fusion Mineral Paint Picket Fence. Now Picket Fence is the absolute brightest white of the white collection. So it is almost a pure white. So if you want like snow bright hospital white, then picket fence is gonna be the one you wanna go with. Now, fair warning, picket fence can take sometimes up to five coats to get full coverage. This board was pink before I painted it. Um, this is three coats over this pink. If this had been a dark board, it would have for sure been four coats and again, maybe five. So. That's just what happens when you're working with bright white paint. It always takes the most coats. Now you can trim that down by using a coat of primer underneath. Um, that'll you know, definitely save you at least one coat of your picket fence, but just know if you're wanting to use this beautiful bright white picket fence, just be patient. It's gonna take you a while to get all the way opaque coverage. Now the next one, let's slide our board down here, is Caseman. Okay, so this is Picket Fence, this is Casement, and here is Casement right here. Very, very close to Picket Fence. It's just not quite as bright, but it still reads a pure white. So you can definitely tell it's not as white when you look at them next to each other, but you guys, when you get it on a piece of furniture, it is still definitely a white, white. Uh, does have slightly better coverage than the picket fence. Usually I can get away with three to four coats of the casement. And I would say casement is probably my top selling white currently and a customer favorite. Okay, moving on, the next white is going to be Victorian Lace. And this is one of the newest whites that just came out this summer. And this is Victorian Lace right here. So we've got picket fence, casement, and Victorian Lace. Again, Victorian Lace is still going to read a bright white in your space, but it has just a hint of gray in it. Again, see it right here next to Casement. Um, some people say they feel like Casement has a little yellow in it. The Victorian Lace doesn't have any yellow in it. And the coverage is about on par with the Casement, um, two to three coats, depending upon how dark what it is that you're painting over, but a beautiful color. Again, Victorian lace that is really growing in popularity. Okay, so the next color that we've revealed right down here is Lamp White. And that's this one right here. So this is Victorian lace, again, casement, picket fence, 
Lamp White is a cold gray white. Uh, the Victorian lace looked a little bit gray next to the casement, but you can tell that the lamp white is much, much more gray. Definitely still reads white on a piece of furniture. Um, I know looking at it right here, it can look like a very, very light gray, but once you get it on a piece of furniture, definitely reads white, but it just is very cold. So if you're wanting for like paint something modern, kind of a modern um, aesthetic or a modern piece of furniture, styled piece of furniture, then Lamp White is a great choice. And it does have a little bit better coverage. Honestly, the coverage gets better as we move down the board, okay? So of all of these thus far, Lamp White is gonna have the best coverage of any of them. Okay, now we've made it to the second half of our board. And so from here down, the colors are definitely more of a beige and an off-white. Let me slide this over. There's that cold, gray lamp white. We're gonna cover that up now and we're gonna move on to this color. This is raw silk. This is, if you're looking for an off-white, the top selling off-white color in the Fusion line. Um, does have just a little hint of yellow to it, but not a lot. Still reads a very nice pretty white on a piece of furniture. Next to it right here is Champlain. Let me show you guys that. This right here is Champlain. Now, Champlain is one of the original colors in the line, and it uh, was probably my top selling white for a very, very long time until they came out with raw silk. And really, they're, the two are very similar in tone, Champlain and raw silk. Raw silk is just a little bit brighter, um, but they're both kind of a neutral off-white. Um, this color, it, it definitely looks, you know, darker here on the board, but um, I for sure still classify it as a white. It's just more of an off-white. Both of these right here are great for kind of that farmhouse feel when you're wanting to go with, you know, a slightly warm kind of antiqued finish versus again, like this cold modern lamp white. Okay, so we've got raw silk and champlain. This next one, is limestone and here's limestone so limestone is your classic yellowy creamy antique white so comparing these three limestone is your classic kind of antique creamy yellow undertone off-white this is the raw silk this is the champlain and this is the limestone you can definitely tell that the limestone has a lot more warmth and yellow undertone to it. So if you don't want any yellow, then you're gonna wanna pick one of these. If you want something that is more creamy and has that aged old white look, then limestone is a good pick for you. It also has probably the best coverage of any of the whites in the line. Okay, and we're gonna finish up with these last two. These are both new whites in the Fusion line, like the um, Victorian lace. They came out just this summer. And so this first one right here is cashmere. And let's see, here it is next to the limestone. So you can tell it's not yellowy. Um, it, it has a little bit of similarity to the Champlain down here. It's not yellowy like the limestone. It's much more of kind of a neutral off-white. Um, still warm with a little bit of gray in it, but definitely um, not as bright as your casement and your picket fence. And then the last one here on the board is Chateau. Here's Chateau. And you may be looking at that and saying, that does not look like a white at all. But look, when it's all by itself and covered up, like you can kind of tell, yeah, it still does look like a white. Again, whites are so funny. It's just kind of how you compare them to each other. Chateau um, is very, very similar to a color that Fusion had for a while called Goddess Ashwagandha. So if you're a fan of Goddess Ashwagandha, then Chateau is gonna be very similar to that. Both of these have really good coverage, two to three coats, depending upon how dark the color is that you're painting. And they're gonna give you a neutral, off-white look. If you want something a little brighter, then go with the cashmere. If you're okay with something a little bit dimmer with a white that's a little bit dimmer, then try the Chateau. They're both beautiful colors. All right, so here we are again with our board and moving down the board, you can see we've got the brightest here, the picket fence, and then the casement, and then the Victorian lace. 
And then we've got the Cold Lamp White Raw Silk Champlain Limestone Cashmere and Chateau. If I back up like this, this gives you the full spectrum of the whites. Who would have thought that there are so many shades of white, but you guys, there are. Again, the coverage gets better as we go down the line. You're gonna have the most coats with this one, but it's that pure, pure white. These have much better coverage, but they're gonna have definitely more of an off-white look. But I hope this helps you see kind of just as you know, as you move down the spectrum, as the tone of the white changes. And that's why I tell you, if you're trying to get a very specific white, please, please, please grab a couple testers. If you know you want a cold white, then maybe grab a Victorian lace, a casement, and a lamp white, little testers, and paint them on a board and hold them up in your room. Because your own lighting, the color of your walls, all of that makes such a huge difference. If you know you want a warm white, then maybe try um, the cashmere and the champlain and the limestone and grab a couple testers of those. White can just be really, really hard to pick just from a little swatch on a screen. But if you can keep in mind kind of the spectrum of them, hopefully you can narrow down between bright whites, off whites, cool toned whites, and warm toned whites. Okay, so there you have it. Hey, I would love to know in the comments section, which one of these have you tried? Which ones are your favorites? Which one after watching this video are you maybe wanting to try next? I would love to hear. Personally, I paint a lot with the raw silk, which is right here. Honestly, the next one I'm gonna try is the Victorian lace. I'm really, really excited about this color here. Also, if you're not a subscriber to the Lost and Found YouTube channel, I hope you join us today. Subscribe. We do furniture painting. We talk about antique booth, small business tips, do lots of different things on here. Some thrift hauls, thrift store decorating, all that kind of stuff. But today I wanted to talk about furniture, furniture paint, fusion mineral paint, and hopefully it's given you guys an idea of kind of a, a jumping off point for the next time that you go pick a white. Um, all of these colors are available in my online store. I ship Fusion Mineral Paint every day from my home-based warehouse out of Northwest Arkansas, and orders over $100 ship free every day also. If you're local, I do have all of these in stock also at the Somewhere in Time Antique Mall, which is in Rogers, Arkansas, okay? Thanks so much, you guys. Great to see everybody. Enjoy your week. I'll see you soon.